Hello, hello, and good day, everyone! Welcome to Dragon Age Gates Quiz Tutorial Episode 74, where we are going to be showing you guys a brand new groundbreaking glitch. Uh, how we are, uh, all the ways that we can really mess with Zolodane inside an unloaded castle, <laughs> among other things, with Zolodane, and also exploring the castle to of roughly the fullest extent that I can possibly can to fulfill a uh, request by one of my fellow YouTubers. So that being said, let's begin things with showing you guys a brand new glitch and how its applications and why am I showcasing it now? Well, one of the things is that I just learned about it, but two is that it's so groundbreaking that we're literally going to be using from now and on, much like I've done the Phantom Rolling Glitch, which that one I discovered on my own, but this one, however, this one is probably something I would not have realized. The way this YouTuber uh, did this glitch, and among the other glitches that he has uh, discovered on his own, was basically around his playing style, a style that I don't have, uh, the way how he had discovered these. So, the YouTuber's name is Introverted Owl. And Introverted Owl provided what's called the Who Turn. The Who Turn. Which basically is a way for Ren to turn around faster than she can do normally. Even faster than just doing a front flip around. It's immediate and quick. What you do is to have her turn immediately around is... Instead of just doing a front flip like this, we're going to interrupt it uh, by pressing square at the same time. So basically, uh, is down on the D-pad, up on the D-pad, uh, triangle and square simultaneously. Here we go. Down, up, square. Oh, down, up, triangle, square. Who turn? Who turn? Who turn? It's fast, it's immediate, and it really gets make sure that the uh, uh, enemy that you're facing, that you can run away and then immediately turn around and go at them. Get some ground and distance, get behind somewhere or whatnot, and turn immediately around so you can face them off. Now, the downside is that you have to have a melee weapon equipped. So then you would also have to hot slot a bow that you can switch to there. Um... But then that still takes some time. But in a sense, yeah, you can immediately turn Ren around. It's not there's not even any animation or her like any of the sky immediately turning. No, it's just almost like uh, teleportation in a way. But speaking of teleportation, this glitch actually has some real teleportation features to it. Yes, where basically what we're gonna do and show you guys how it can be applied is that you have to have specific services. Uh, it can't be like a uh, solid uh, dirt ground or or has any invisible barriers that would normally prevent Ren from falling through. It would basically just be anything that's uh, propped up because of collision programming and nothing else. So we're going to go up here and we're going to bypass into the castle right now. We're going to do the who turn in three, two, one, who turn and look at that. We immediately teleport down. It will always teleport down, by the way. But it'll teleport are you down to the nearest uh, invisible barrier. And in which case, it happens to be right here on this dirt ground. And we can just pop up here and we can collect our gold. Yes, we don't have to basically embrace death by going off over there where we can accidentally fall off. No, we can just um, just go up to the stairs here and fall right through. It's incredible. It's amazing. This can be applied in so many locations and other places. And there's other applications, which I will showcase a little bit later as we delve further into uh, the Castle of Sardana. Without further ado, well, first off, Thank you, Introverted Owl, for letting me be able to showcase this to everyone here. And there are other glitches that uh, he also discussed in his videos that you can see for yourself, as I will apply a link to his video in the description down below. But now, 
Let's take this glitch, let's move on to uh, the next part we're going to discuss, which is basically messing with Zoldane, and there's some real fun things you can do <laughs> when messing around with Zoldane and his cutscenes. You guys remember the uh, army of Rins I had up here on the bridge at the end of episode 72 uh, to do a, a Sparta meme. Well, uh, I have some outtakes to show you guys that produce some very interesting, hilarious results. Okay, as I was making the meme video for uh, <laughs> the Glitch Tutorial episode 72, uh, <laughs> I discovered something that... Uh, okay, do not activate cuts... Do not activate cutscenes uh, when you have so many multiple rins at your disposal here. Well, at the very least, don't let the camera pan over to them. I'm not sure it's because of the sheer number I put here. I put about 17 of them out here. <sighs> but I was trying to open up the uh, open up the door there to lead to uh, Zola Dane. The cutscene plays out normally, but once when it cuts to Rin, oh boy. Here we go. Welcome. Welcome. I am Zola Dane, royal seer and advisor to Lady Mishala. It is an honor to meet you. Okay, here here it went normally. But let me show you let me show you something that happened when I had uh Zola Dane uh <laughs> when I had Zola Dane fighting in the other room. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and cut back all the winds. Make sure they're all loaded in here. All uh, 17 of them, I believe, there are at. Okay, get in here. Welcome. Welcome. I am Zola Day. Royal seer and advisor to Lady Mishala. It is an honor to meet you. <laughs> Look at Zoladane! Wow, now this is trippy. <laughs> My gosh! Man! <laughs> but yes. Having so many rins and stuff in the background, it really messes up. I'm not sure what's going on, a rendering issue or whatnot. I'm not sure. But we're overloading the system here, and we're cre creating quite, quite the trippy things here. Let me show you another image that I got to work here. <laughs> As you can see here, the image is quite different from the one uh, before. Here, the image uh, has these yellowish, brownish, murky type polygon objects that I have no idea where they're coming from. But we do have something that we can identify uh, as to the origin of, and that's the bridge and the uh, f castle floor, where uh, you can see that it is a combination of Ren's chest of her chainmail and Ren's rear end of the mithril armor. If the flesh maids were be coming to visit here, I think you'll be quite pleased with the decor, with the choice of decor here. Uh, but I digress. The most important thing I want to draw our attention to is the center here, and that is this white dragon or white gargoyle or we'll call it the crash dragon. I can see the wings here, the tail here, and the head here. Um, we're going to call it the Crash Dragon. Why is this the exact same? Everything else is roughly different, but this is the exact same across from the previous image, which I think would be the same across all other uh, crashes of the game if we have any uh, messed up crashes like this that completely uh, change the whole texture and everything. But I have no idea how this... Uh, comes comes about and something that the uh, uh, people investigating the code of the game would be able maybe be able to answer for me the mystery of the crash dragon but as long as you skip the cutscene before even Zoladane has a real chance to introduce himself uh, you can go you can stop the game from freezing 
Now, if you're looking for the abstract art, then look no further. This is kind of setup I have. I don't think you need to do this particular setup or whatnot. But oh my gosh, I was I was kind of uh, didn't even expect all that to happen there, which is absolutely hilarious. But I'm hoping to create a third platoon for my uh, episode 70. Uh, one, but I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to do episode 72, but I'm not sure if I'm going to actually be able to do that. Welcome, everyone, back inside the uh, mostly unloaded castle of, well, Palace of Sardana. The palace itself, uh, what we're going to explore here eventually is as many nooks and crannies that we can manage, that we can manage uh, to able to pull off here. But right now, we're going to focus on a few of the cutscenes and the battle sequence with Zola Dane. First and foremost, I do want to note before that, that before we activate the cutscene of uh, General Daramon in the aftermath of the invasion of the, Sol of the Solus, uh, we have General Daramon and Lady Michelle located up here. Zola Dane is located into whatever is left of his office. And then we just have the guards here as standing here per normal. So yeah, we can go ahead and even talk to Zoldane right now. Mishala has told you of her plans then. The omens are dark. As you can see, um, when having a character that's slightly above you, it will teleport your character up. In which, once when it resume, once when uh, the character... Uh, concludes his uh, dialogue, or you force it to conclude, Rin will drop safely back down. Now, let's go ahead and then continue moving on. Let's go ahead, activate General Daramon's cutscene, and then we're going to move on to trying to uh, mess around with Zola Dane. And trust me, I even saved the interior cutscene over here for even more hilarious implications. Now, Let's go ahead and start things off. Now, we can't activate... It's if we want to have uh, General Daramon's cutscene inside of a mess castle, we need to try to get as close to here as possible, which basically going on around here, uh, which we can have... Uh, we just need to roll in here. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to roll that far into it. But I think that still should do it. There we go. What yeah. What happened here? Assassins. These are Jassad's corpse soldiers, the soulless. It seems someone within the palace has betrayed us. From where? As I, I'm the not actually talking about the, the invasion here. I'm talking about the castle Someone itself. What the enter. hell How? happened here? The guards would have seen them. This city is rife with forgotten tunnels. There must be a secret entrance somewhere. I want you to note that the actual the soulless here disappear. Let me show you guys where they actually end up. They haven't actually disappeared for good. They haven't been deleted. They're still here. And they're still very much dead. But they're actually located down here. If you go off down over here, they're actually located outside of... So you have the tunnel here. This must be how the assassins were brought in. Where we go look at the portal, but they're on the outside out of view. But they're located both right here. After uh, activating Daramon's cutscene, there is one piece of dialogue that's, that's able to trigger that is not available otherwise. A teleporter. This must be how the assassins were brought in. It's this dialogue right here. This will tr I'll trigger uh, the cutscene to actually be able to activate with Zola Dane interrogating Michelle. This, however, doesn't do anything. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working anymore. Yeah, much like the teleporter not working anymore. Uh, this is not the trigger for the uh, cutscene with Zoldane's interrogation. This is right over here. However, even though this is a trigger that cannot, that's not available until you activate Daramon's uh, cutscene in the castle. Um. There is an instance that I encountered in Northeastern Sardana that where suddenly the the defeat of Jasha, I mean the defeat of Zola Dane, where it goes, you're fast girl, but you'll never open the remaining gates. We'll be awaiting for you in the desert of tears. 
and then teleports away. Uh, that cut that cutscene uh, somehow can randomly activate when you're exploring North Inter Northeastern Sardana when it, you without Arak and before the Shadowmire. I don't know uh, what triggers it, and it just seems to be random, which is the reason why I didn't even touch upon this bit of knowledge uh, earlier. Because if I knew how to trigger it, I would have already done so. Even my brother Michael, who has played the game, has been able to trigger it before. Uh, and I was bare witness to that. So aside from me doing it personally, my brother's been able to do it. But it just seems to be random. I think it's also after you complete the... Uh, Brotherhood of the Internal Word, the Catacombs, but I am not entirely sure. If any of you also know of anything regards to exploring the Northeastern Sardana, then certainly be teleported into the castle with Zola Dane being defeated for some reason. Let me know down in the comments section. I want to see if anyone else has encountered this random glitch that you're exploring Northeastern Sardana and then all of a sudden Zola Dane is defeated. <laughs> okay. In that regards, let's go ahead and continue on now that we have activated uh, this bit of dialogue. Let's go see what we can do with Zola Dane's cutscene. Okay, at the start of the fight, if you don't do anything, you're actually going to slide... Oh, I actually didn't slide down this time. You actually have a risk that you're going to slide down backwards. Or you can stay up here! And I slid down and I'm being fired at. Ah! Get out of there! Run! 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 Okay. Ooh! Okay, speaking of that, yes, you have a risk that you can just slide down there. Of course, you're not going to take any damage or anything, but it also forces you into long-range combat, which really, even... I was hoping for a more epic battle when I first discovered this between me and Zoldane, given that I had to go far far out from him and just go into a spell slinging battle with him. But the thing is... I have a lot of objects I can actually use at my disposal to actually block his attacks. Look at me! Woohoo! You can't hit me! You can't hit me! You can't hit me! Wait, can you? Ah, you still can't hit me! Haha! <laughs> Woo! But yeah, it's, it's really becomes another cheese battle, which I was not looking forward to in terms of, like, that's what I was looking for. <sighs> but I digress. Let's go ahead and explore some more things that we can do to mess with Zola Dane. Just a reminder to what we can do here. We can actually leave out of here and it just escape the battle. We can actually just completely ignore Michelle and Zola Dane and just uh, go off on our merry way to uh, save uh, the world? Except for Michelle and Sardana. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's like, oh, you can... Michelle, you're fine. Zoldane isn't going to kill you, I don't think. But no, we can go ahead and collect Arak as to wherever... Oh, there you are. And we can actually go ahead and kill Zoldane right now with Arak. Remember how broken the fire breath is? Well, here we go. There we go. World, but you'll never open the remaining gates. We'll be waiting for you in the Desert of Tears. Don't let his words get to you, Rin. He seeks to destroy your confidence. That's okay, I can't even hear him from where I am. He can report back to his masters. The desert is a dangerous land. Make certain you have everything you need before you go. I'm already gone. I believe Derimon may be able to warn you of some of the perils which lie ahead. Too late. I'm already gone. I'm already on Arak. See ya. <laughs> Although there are a few more things that we can do uh, with Zoldane's cutscene. So let's go ahead and mess around with him some more. One important thing to note. You can turn off Zoldane's epic bow music by coming up through the elevator here. And just, just turn it back to being all peaceful. Ah, uh, nothing like battling Zola Dane and such peaceful music here. Oh, get back behind here. Shoot ya. Ouch, my face. Two ways to be able to get back up where Zola Dane is. First way is go off over here. 
backflip up here and then jump up here and voila, we're finally up here. We go ahead and kill Zoldane as per normal. The other way is to simply go back to where I said and manipulate the outer limits over here to try to get Rin to pop up. Just keep messing around about in this area and you should eventually be able to pop up with Rin. Oh, there we go. Aha, Zoldane, you're mine. Well, I do want to show you guys is that we can actually use uh, Rin here. Let's see here. Come on, Zoldane, attack me. Attack me. We can use Rin as <laughs> a clone, a copy of Rin, like we did in episode uh, 72 uh, here, as I promised, to be able to use Rin to defeat Zoldane. But heck, we don't even need to even use Rin. We can actually use Mashala here. All we need to do is just equip a bow and just simply snipe at Zoladane. Like, the arrows are not even, I don't think, oh no, they are hitting Zoladane. And yet, he can't actually attack me. Fuck is. <laughs> it's like the Inquisitor when I use that one guy in there and I just completely use. <laughs> Both Rins are pretty stunned. I wonder, did that actually change their, uh... No, I don't... I don't think it actually changed, uh, their, uh, stance. So that'll be interesting if they change their stance along with Ren in the cutscene. But let's go ahead and continue on some more messing around with Zoladane. Also, one thing we can do with this, uh, boss music... We can simply save the game, load back to that save... And it's all nice and peaceful. Also, on top of that, after the cutscene, you can simply just hot slot a bow, equip it, target him, and then just keep firing at him. And he won't do a thing as long as you don't move. In the middle of a battle, Ramorel forgot to fight! Now, I do want to note that activating the battle with Zola Dane will trigger all the enemies to appear at that gate to the Valley of the Tears. The Valley of the Fallen, I should more say. All the enemies are now uh, there. So it's not dependent of you defeating Zoladane, but dependent on what you can act. Dependent on if you engage him in battle or not. And here they are! It does kind of mess up the music a little bit. Whoa! An invisible war talk? Definitely gotta face this enemy. Come on, Rin. Engage! Oh my gosh, I can't engage at all. What's going on here? Oh my gosh, what in the hell is happening? Quickly, out of the way. Oh, now I see! Jiminy freaking Christmas! What the heck? Strangest thing. Visor Dane just came rushing through here like a devil was on his tail. I could have sworn I heard him curses as he went by. And then, next thing I knew... There were monsters on all sides of us. It was almost as if... Well, you don't think Lord Dane had something to do with it, do you? He hasn't even come through here yet. He's still in the castle. What Zoladane have you seen? How many Zoladanes are there? I saved this cutscene till this moment for this well, moment only. This is the whole purpose. It's right now... Zoladane is in there, attacking! Oh! Zoladane! No! Zoladane, are you okay? Here, let me get a little further away from him. Turn around. No! Zoladane! Why? Why did you have to die? Why, Zoladane? I will avenge your death!
I will kill your future self for killing your past self. How does this even make any sense? You bastard! You're fast, girl. I may be fast, but I wasn't fast enough to save Zola Dane. Whoa! Daramon! What are you doing up there? Daramon! Zola Dane's gone! Daramon, what are you doing up there? <laughs> Uh, talk, 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 talk. Daramon, what are you doing up there? Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just making things go way out of hand here. First that war talk, invisible war talk, and now Daramon? What the heck am I doing to this game? Apparently, if I if I get on Arak, wait outside roughly around the elevator, save the game, then proceed up here through the elevator coming up here, uh, this is going to happen. <laughs> I think it might be in relation that Daramon will be normally at the level over here where Mashala is supposed to be uh, before Zoladane actually made his way. I think that is basically the same height. And so, his current position is supposed to be right here, but it's moved up there given that now he is seen as over there, maybe? I don't know! I don't know! All I know is I just saved the game while on Arok over, in the ele over by the elevator and then proceed up the elevator and continued on through the doors there to come up here. Yeah. I... I don't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, at least we solved a little bit of that mystery on how to have Daramon float in the air. I thought he was a warrior, not a magician. Ugh. Also, if I can just slowly back up, Zola Dane will not attack me. Just slowly back up here as I just slowly back up, slowly back up. And fake it. <laughs> now he'll attack me. Um, now the thing is here. It's locked. When you gauge as Zola Dane, all the doors locked. are locked. It's locked. You have nowhere to go. Well, you normally will, would have nowhere to go in this point. And if you wanted to bypass out of here, there's still a it's way locked. to do so. Let us go back to the Who turn. Here we go. Back forward, triangle and square. There we go. And then we're going to go to about this door here. And we're going to do our sideways somersaults. And we're going to be able to bypass through there. Okay, there we go. I'm now in here. And now we can go ahead... We're going to do the who turn again. I'm going to use this table. Okay. Now, I'm still a bit low here, but we can use the corridor down here to actually uh, exit out of here, in which we're going to pop up through here. That should pop me up to be able to still... Yes! Okay. Now we can just leave out of here. Welcome. If we save Welcome. this cutscene for last, after killing Zoldane in there, we per permanently have a friendly Zoldane with us. Mishala has told who you will always plans, seem then. to talk to us. I must confess, I have warned her against it. The omens are dark. I mean, I was like, finally, the full party is here, including the treacherous Zoldane. You can either have him as a companion, or just simply eradicate him from existence. <laughs> because once when you uh, fight Zoladane or trigger Zoladane in there uh, to fight against, the Zoladane that would appear in this cutscene will now be able to be interact with Arox attacks. 
<laughs> and so yeah, you can just go ahead and kill Zoldane. There were two other things I wanted to show you guys, but for the life of me, I just can't figure out how, how to do it. I used to know, but I just can't seem to uh, make it work uh, consistently. So, we have what would be able to do is um, produce two Mashalas. The Mashala that spawned by Zoldane's cutscene, and the other one that spawned in her usual position over here at the table. I've had done it here as I was doing uh, uh, some recording footage uh, for this video. However, I haven't been able to figure out as to how it happened. And I want to show you guys how it happens because there is a way to exploit it. I used to know, I used to remember uh, what that was, but it's been so long that I kind of forgot uh, how to do it. So that's going to be some experimentation that I'm going to need to do, but I don't want to continue doing more experimentation when I can simply move on to the next uh, portion of the video, uh, which is going to be exploring the interior of the castle, which we're going to explore in episode 75. The other thing I wanted to show you guys, but I can't seem to replicate, is another thing with General Daramon. He is right now, as you can see, he's right here. But... You can actually have him not be tied to this part of the castle and have his character spawn more into the basement. Not that his position changes down to the basement, but he just exists in the basement. As in, if we go down to the basement well, while the castle was unloaded, we would see a very dark General Daramon. And whenever we get close to him, which would load out the basement, he would disappear making it the only way that you can see him, or as much as you can, uh, is with the basement. I haven't been able to replicate that one either, so I'm going to save that one as well for later. With that being said, that's it for this episode, everyone, and we'll all see you all in episode 75, where we are going to explore the interior castle with both Rin and Arak. Look forward to that, everyone. In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great life, everyone. Who turn? Ha <laughs> ha. Welcome. Welcome. I am Zola Dane, royal seer and advisor to Lady Mishala. It is an honor to meet you. It is an I am Zola Dane, royal seer and advisor to Lady Mishala. It is an Amzola Dane, royal seer and advisor to Lady Mishala. It is an Amzola Dane.